Okay, boys and girls at home, we are doing our math lesson, and today all we're doing is going over um, the pages that were posted that look like this. It says Unit 27 up at the top. It has 215 down in the bottom corner. So we're going to do 215 and 216 together. Number one says, use the clues to solve the riddle. I am a two-dimensional shape. I have three sides and three angles. What shape am I? Those of you at home, you can pause and try to figure that out before we um, tell you the answer because that's what they did here. They had to figure it out. Now we're going to share our answers. What did you get, Allie? Triangle. Triangle, good. Triangle is a 2D shape. It has three sides and three angles. Okay, so down here it said draw the correct shape. You could have drawn any triangle. Okay, number two, Christina cut these shapes from construction paper. She arranges the shapes according to the number of sides. In what order would the shapes be listed if she orders them from greatest number of sides to least number of sides? Write the name of each figure in the correct order. Okay, so what order are we going in? Just say it out loud. Greatest to least. Greatest to least. So we need to make sure we start with the greatest number of sides. So let's count number, or this one right here, how many sides is, is it? The very first one, six. Okay. The second one, three. Three. Here. Five. Four. Eight. Eight. Good. So eight would be the greatest, right? Yes. What do we call an eight-sided shape? Kelsey. Um, a rhombus. No, not a rhombus. Rhombus is a quadrilateral. Oh, I know. Uh, octopus. Octagon. Octagon. Octagon, yeah, see? Octagon, remember? It does remind us of octopus, and an uh, octopus has how many arms? Eight. Eight. So that part, octa, means eight, okay? Okay. So we have eight. What would come next? Six. And that is a hexagon. Good, Allie. Okay, five. What do we call that? Pentagon. Pentagon. Square. Square. And then triangle. Yep. Okay, pretty simple, right? That's kind of just a review of what you've learned in second grade. At tennis practice, John held a tennis ball in one hand and a can of soda in the other hand. He compared the attributes of the two figures in his hands. What attributes do these two objects have in common? Can y'all think of an attribute they have in common? Uh, Kaylee? Rounded. Rounded? We like to say curved in when we're talking about geometry or shapes. So curved surface. Um, okay, uh, Kelsey? They're both straight, like, like they're both smooth. They're both smooth, okay, but a tennis ball is kind of, has a different texture. Let's think about what you did yesterday in your book. What did you have to do with the 3D shapes? You had to see if they could stack. You had to see if they could roll. You had to do the, the faces, the edges, the vertices. The soda can can stack. But can the tennis ball? What do they both have? They both have zero vertices. 
They both have zero vertices, okay? Can they both roll? Yes. Yes. Good, now you're thinking. Zero vertices, figures that can roll, and they both have curved surfaces. What attributes are different? Well, one of y'all send the soda can, we can do what, Allie? Stack. Stack it. So the soda can can be stacked, the other one cannot, because it's a sphere. Okay. One can stack, which is the cylinder. The ball can we're seeing what's different. Cassie, you see something? Some balls, some balls aren't smooth. A tennis ball, it's not smooth. It has like little hairs on it, like those little fluffy things. Yeah, but we're talking about the attributes that we've learned in math. Soft and smooth. That has to do more with um, like science attributes. So let's think about what we learned yesterday, like faces, edges, vertices, um, rolling, stacking, those type of things. Yes? The cylinder has sides in the sphere, doesn't it? Has sides. It has two, faces. what do we call sides though? Faces. Okay, faces. Two faces? Does it have two edges? Look up there on the wall, the cylinder. Yes, yes. it does. Two edges for those um, faces right here. This is an edge and this is an edge. Okay, so it has, cylinder has faces and edges. That is not an eight, that I just did an and symbol so we wouldn't have to write it out because it's kind of a small line there in our right big. That's an and symbol. They're both rounded though. What do you mean straight? On the picture, it looks like it has lines, but it doesn't. That's just how they draw it. It's curved. Okay. Oh, here, let's move on. We're good. We've talked about the main thing, so we're going to move on. Number four. Tatum sorted six figures on a T-chart. He forgot to label his chart with the attribute. Write the correct labels for the T-chart shown below. So I'm going to give you a second to look at these two sides. What attributes did Tatum use to sort those shapes? What do you see that this side has in common? And what does this side have in common? Okay, Allie? Um, that side with all the, it is in common with four sides. Right here? Mm -hmm. Well, this has four, but all of these, these two don't. Three, they, they all, um, both, Kaylee's on the right track. She said straight. We could say straight. But what do you notice these are? 
round. Yes. Rounded. rounded or curved. And these are flat. Okay. So we would say curved surfaces, flat surfaces. That's one way we could have probably labeled it. Curved, flat. So what attributes did Tatum use to sort these figures? We could say their faces were used to sort. We have curved faces or surfaces and flat surfaces. So that's basically what you're going to be doing in a nutshell today. Sorting shapes, looking at their attributes, trying to figure out how they can be sorted, how they can be left out. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's look at the next page. All right, I want you to try number one on the next page on your own. It says Pablo uses a rule to sort shape cards into stacks and organize them. So here's his cards. Which two cards do not belong in his stack of cards with the others? Okay, so look at those cards and see which ones do not belong. Okay, so we took a few minutes. We paused the video for those of you at home. We, um, we looked at our answers and everybody got it right here. So the two cards that did not belong, they said, were the circle and the triangle because why? They don't have because they don't have four sides. Good. All of the other ones had four sides, which we would call them quadrilaterals. And these other two are not quadrilateral, so B was correct. Okay, number two. Gia thinks of a mystery shape and gives Brianna these clues to help her guess the shape. It is a three-dimensional solid. It has six vertices. It has five faces which could be Gia's mystery shape. And I already drew it for you. It's 3D, right? Yeah. Six vertices, which is, who remembers from yesterday what a vertice is? Kelsey? They're like the things that you count, not the sides, but like the vertices are these things you could put a dot yes. or a circle. Where you put the dot. So we would call those corners, kind of like the corner of the shape. <laughs> Five faces. So the faces are the what part? Who can tell me what a face is? Allie? Um, it's the flat, flat. Good, the flat part. So if I look at a triangular prism, there's one, two, the front and back. Three, four for the left and right. And where's the last one that I'm missing? Between the back. The bottom. Okay. Mm -hmm. So two triangles, the front and the back, the left and the right, and the bottom. That's five faces. So what would my answer be? Triangular, Triangular prism. prism. Because a cone only has how many faces? One. One. One face. A cube has how many? Six, six. six faces. Six, Good. Six, three. A rectangular prism has six. 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 Good. Yeah. All right. Number three. I want you guys to read that and try that one on your own too. Okay. 
So we're looking at this monument. It says, Wayne, the Wayne City Council places a monument to honor the town's heroes. The monument is shown. Which geometric figures make up the monument? Um, Evangeline, what did you get? I got D. D, good. This is your cylinder, and this is your cone. Good, so D is correct. Number four. Again, I want you guys to try it on your own, and we'll check and see if you got it right. Which shows the number of edges and vertices on this rectangular prism? So edges and vertices. Edges, you're going to count the sides, right? Vertices are the corners. Okay, so for the sides, Kaylee, what'd you get? Or the edges? Um, Twelve. Twelve edges. So let's see, if I'm going to count the edges, I'm going to count like this by tracing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so I'm automatically going to eliminate G and J. Now I need to count the vertices. What did you get, Allie? I got eight. Eight, good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So F would have been the correct answer. Okay, number five. While riding to school with his mother, Paul noticed that these traffic signs all share an attribute. What attribute do all the signs share? I want you to take a moment to try to figure that out first. Read all the answer choices. Okay, we can figure it out? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. See if you're right. What attribute do they all share? Well, are they all triangles? No. No, definitely not. Are they all quadrilaterals? No. No, because that means they would all have to have four, four sides. sides. And we know the triangle doesn't. The signs are all parallelograms? Yes. Um, no. This is not a parallelogram, triangle's not, a pentagon's not. The signs are all polygons. Yes, because polygon means it's closed and straight, right? You might want to write this down just in case you have forgotten what that means. Because you will see this word a lot throughout the rest of your problems that you're going to be doing on your own. In parallelogram, that means parallel sides. Top and bottom are parallel, and left and right are parallel. So a polygon, it, to be a polygon, all it has to have is straight sides, and it needs to be closed. Okay, so D was correct. Number six. Which three-dimensional figures have circular bases? What does circular mean? It means round. Round, like a circle. And base means the bottom, what it sits on. Okay? Circular is just a circle. Base is talking about the bottom. Okay? Which three-dimensional figures have circular bases? Cone and a pyramid? No. Um, does the cone, though? Yes. Yeah, a cone, a cone does. does. A pyramid doesn't. Sphere and cube? No. No, a sphere doesn't have a base. A cube has squares. Cylinder and cone? Yes. Yes, yeah, so the cylinder, you know, looks like the can got circles, and then the cone also has a circle, okay? J, what was wrong with J? Octagon and hexagon. Are those 3D shapes? Is an yes. octagon a 3D shape? Yes. yes. No. Oh, right. So you're telling me that this is a 3D shape right no. here, the stop sign? No. 
Uh, is a hexagon a 3D shape? No. no. So these are not even 3D shapes. Okay. All right, I'm going to do one more with you guys. That is number six on the next page. And then the rest of the problems you will be free to do on your own. Okay. Which statement about the figure shown below is not true? Okay, so sometimes we get confused on the words when they say not true. So we're looking for one that's not true that does not make these shapes true. F, they are both polygons. They are both polygons, yes, but we want the one that's not true. So we would put T for true. They both have more sides than a quadrilateral. Well, let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Does that have more than a quad? Yes. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Does that have more than a quad? Yes. So we would say this is true. And the last, or second to last, they are both hexagons. No. Well, hexagon has six sides, right? This one had six. Did this one? No. That had five. So this is not true. J, they both have fewer vertices than an octagon. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Is that fewer than an octagon? Yes, because octagon has eight. One, two, three, four, five. Is that fewer than an octagon? Yes, so that makes this statement true, right? They both have fewer vertices than an octagon. That's true. The only one that was not true was H. So I wanted to show you this one because you guys need to get in the habit of saying, oh, yes, that's true. Put a T out here. That's true. Put a T. This was the only one that was wrong. It was not true. Sometimes it takes us seeing the letters to say, oh, there was one that was wrong. I need to make sure I pick that one. Not the ones that were actually right. Okay? Does that make sense? Kelsey? Yeah. All right. You guys are free to work on your own now. When you're done, you're going to turn this into the pink folder at the front of the room.